Hello guys, today I am going to teach you how to set the cache or the cache in the client side with Express. So first of all you have two methods. The first one is with the Express uh, HTTP header and the second one is with the cache control HTTP header. So let's let's uh, dig a little bit in the sparse way so uh, I am going to create a new variable called next day that will represent the next day uh, use this method to do that and also I'm going to set the HTTP header at sparse uh, you, for setting a new HTTP header to the response you use the response object point and the method set. The first argument is the name of the HTTP header and the second one is the value. So in this case I'm going to set the expires HTTP header with the value um, the date but with the UDC a string. So this is very important because you need to have a uh, you need to have a uh, HTTP date and that's only possible with the to UDC a string method so before that uh, you just need to remove the header uh, there is a default header called cache control that sends express so you need to remove that and that's to prevent it, uh, the browser to ignore the other express header so that's we that's how we work the sparse way. Um, to to accomplish this, I am going to use the request the fresh that will tell me whenever the request is fresh. And if the request is fresh, I'm going to send the status uh, three hundred four. Uh, then I'm gonna end the response. But if the request is not fresh, I'm just going to set the new expire or new cache control and then go to the net middleware that is just sending the public files. So, <clears throat> let's see how it works this way. Uh, as you can see, uh, I am already running the server, so he, here is how it works in the in the browser so you just open the browser and then reload as you can see here I am getting I am getting the 304 not modified status code and that means that it will just allow the previous response without anything um, it let me just lead the let me just uh, I don't know well in this way I can this I will disable the catch reload uh, with the catch disable as you can see I get 200 and just get them the entire file as you can see here I can see the the content link and so in the response I am gonna enable them again. Reload again. A status 200. Reload again, and as you can see, a status 3 304. And that's because I just get the exactly same. Okay, so let's look what happens if I change the file uh, to red. I reload again. I get uh, again a uh, 200 status code, and if we load again, I get a uh, 304 uh, not modified status code. So that's how it works. When we check that the server, the server file is not modified, you just get 304 and doesn't repeat the response. Um, if this if the file is modified you get a uh, 200 okay with the new version of the file let's call it 
And now let's see how it works the the cage control way. <clears throat> so in the cage control, let me just comment this. I am going to comment this. In the cage control way, um, you need to set the cage control header and with a value for example the mage age in seconds I just set this other value to be able to whatever thing we will be able to catch the document or the response so I set the header catch control and then the max age to 3 to 300 to be catch so first of all I'm gonna disable the catch below as you can see I get um, 200 status code and also a size of uh, 389 bytes okay that's normal but what happens if I just reload again I get this again oh I sorry I didn't disable I didn't enable the cache again so let me reload again okay reloading I get the style sheet and the status code. Um, I reload again. Reload again. Uh, let me see. Let me see why I'm not getting this. Let me see if I did everything. Oh, I didn't. I didn't save the file. Sorry. And also, I need to run the server again to apply the change. That's my fault, sorry. Uh, so, running the server again. Okay, I get the status code, the style sheet file, and as you can see, it's 200 OK. And the catch control is max H300. Before that, um, as you can see, remember this the size is, for example, 266 uh, bytes. But if I reload, I get 200 status code and here it says 200 status code from this cache or catch and here as you can see in the size it just says this cache um, in both ways you can in both ways you can save the cache in the client side but with the sparse way uh, you get the updates um with the catch control way you don't get the updates for example if i change the color red to white again and save and try to reload as you can see i uh the, the background color is still get red until the catch expires i said this part expires in 300 so it will not disperse uh, in five minutes, let's say. But if I disable the catch and reload again, I get the white. And that's the difference. That's how you set the expires and catch control in Express. And also that's how you use the the request that fresh property. Um, you can use the stale property also, but remember that the still is the opposite that the fresh so if fresh is true the stale will be false and if if fresh is false the stale will be true that's all i hope it's useful and bye bye